Are we up? I don't even think this is going to be an angle. Oh my gosh. I mean, I have you guys propped up on the bag. I don't know whether to do, like, what's in my tote bag. Because, like, you know, you'll see, like, beauty gurus do, like, what's in my bag or what's in my purse. Um, and I just thought this would be <laughs> a really good video to do as far as what's in my black bag. So, have my water with my, I mean, technically, I can say it's my neighbors, but not really because they threw it out. God. So, if you throw it out, boss says, with me and Mama Tanya over here, What are you doing? No, don't get in the video. The cat's gonna come in. <laughs> but, like I said, I don't know whether this is a what's in my black tote bag or like my tote bag. I don't know why I wanted to call it a black bag. I don't know. But, um, I, f I forgot to put humor in truth. See, I knew that I was forgetting something last night. My kitty is getting all up in this. So, I'm kind of going to do what's in my tote bag because I'm sure a lot of you see me around and you're like, she always carries more than one bag, not just her purse, um, just her bag because I like to keep the mentality that I'm just kind of trying to live for me. <laughs> like I'm Auntie Lani, but in actuality, I look like Gracie from Gracie's Choice and to... And to be even more specific, and probably j Rao with the dawn on the side. And then he called his baby. I want to tell him that he is not the subject matter right now. Meow. Somebody say a prayer for his strength. He needs Neato. New me, Neato. Never give cats fake protein. Anyways, after that cute kitty, we're going to show you guys what's in my tote bag. So, <laughs> let's go. Um, this is one of the things that I just picked up from the, the what's called it the farmer's market. It's the candy, um, I don't know, it's like behind McDonald's and it's like the candy center, the candy giving, giving center, candy giving center. So, there's that, and somebody put a bunch of Ritz crackers, and I was just like, I'm just going to take it, because it's free 99 And nobody nobody has the right to come up to you and speak, like, your rights to you and stuff like that. So, <sighs> this was in there. I just pulled it out right before the video, um, like, a second before. Don't be mad. Okay. It's, I don't know. Because y'all have to try harder. <laughs> so... These ones are different. If you guys watched my video that I did with, like, Vaughn's. I mean, really, it's called Safeway. So, and this one's different. It's a wheat. Stop it. Go that way. I don't want to be rude, but you gotta go that way, okay? Pow, 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 pow. Yeah. <laughs> He's not listening. <sighs> This one, so they're not sourdough this time, but they're wheat, and I thought I might give them a try with something. It might be good with like some jam. I have a lot of that collected in other places. He keeps wanting to show you guys his face. Stop. Am I gonna be pushing you away this whole video? <laughs> so I have these. I <laughs> cat right here that doesn't want to stop. So. Y'all can tell the Dawn that, yeah, La Brea wheat baguette slice. It's just that. I guess I'm just kind of stunned because I usually go for sourdough, but sometimes sourdough is too sour, and you kind of just need something mellow. Mellow, if you will. I'll show you guys the back of the bag. You kind of just need something mellow just to kind of break down, you know, the parts and the body and the, you know, 
keep yourself going. Don't believe what the devil's telling you. Don't believe what you hear. La Brea wheat baguette sliced. Bin. And actually, it was on sale for $1.99 at the other Safeway. Safeway. Can be Safeway. So, there's that. It's I know, honestly, I know off the top of my head that uh, Cutsworth Thriftway really pours into the Cami Giving Center's, like, bins and stuff. <laughs> but aside from them, this also came from Safeway, so they kind of do the same, but... Yeah, I feel like you know Safeway and those not um in town lovable places. Those they have a, a mind of their own. Okay, let's move on with the video. <laughs> so, <laughs> somebody was like, "Why did you think you've ever shown one thing?" I'm like, "Well, when I look at people's things, I like to look at everything. Like I like to look at like the whole label. I'm sure Mom and was like, maybe we should read that or stay away from that. So." I don't know. Y'all can tell Dawn. Your wife's over here not eating the best diet, so. You want to tell Dawn, Jr.? <laughs> there you go. I have a feeling people probably have already been. When I used to look at his channel, and that's what it was. So, as you can tell, and as you can see, and I think some of you might have caught on to it, at least spiritually, mentally, I am holding a red onion. I have had like golden onions maybe white onions for a while i'm not a big fan of golden onions and white onions i think that they're kind of plain um i mean they're good and stuff i'm not gonna lie i will probably eat them because it's just there but what is he doing So I have one of probably many. I just went in and I just grabbed so many of these because I knew that they had them there. And they just look so pretty. Look at that. So beautiful. Like, like we need like a Real Housewives of, I don't know if I want to say Oregon, but oh my gosh, Real Housewives of Oregon. Doesn't that hold the Dahlia? Is that the reality show, you guys? I needed to start. He is so jealous of this camera. <laughs> you are not the dawn. You are not the dawn. No. You're not the dawn. I gave you the label of my coat. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Actually, this tote, I guess I should show you guys. Um, let me get a better view here. We'll be back. Here's my tote. This one you'll see me use on my bike mostly, but I just grabbed it because it's sturdy and flat and um, just kind of easily goes anywhere you need it to. Unless I guess my other ones are usually occupied for some reason. Well, I gotta work on things. Basically, that means getting it on. It doesn't mean being half assed and minuscule. So there's that. There's that. And what the rest is in here is probably potatoes and onions. Well, I guess I could go like that. Like I said, there's the onions. We're in an Oregon, Canby-ish Oregon. Um, I was thinking of having a television show. Like a reality show-ish. Or Oregon. Here's some more snacks. I was starting to eat those yesterday. Um, now they're just needing to be finished. Um, this this came out of there. I actually did not get this at the Kimmy Giving Center. Um, so there's that. But I do need to like eat it up because it's screaming for me to eat. Let me start opening it now. I'm 
he is see every time I over something he coming around. That's my mom trained him too much to do that, you guys. Let me out with a hand. Somebody okay, I'm gonna mention this. Somebody did actually just reach out to me this morning. Um I'm not gonna give too much information away. But I'm not too well versed in like answering these things and Don just I feel like he's just trying to like expose me. You are in the way. Nobody wants to do that. Uh, I am sorry that this might be taking a while, you guys. But um somebody did just reach out to me. Just that that's <laughs> And that's what it is. So this is our come with it. I've actually been trying to dig in here and find the right thing. Stop. Definitely. Love it. Okay, like I said, a bunch of potatoes. Uh, look at those puppies. I am so ready to eat those. Honestly, my quickest and favorite way to really eat any kind of onion, they said that they're yellow. Yellow. Let's brush it to make it then look flat like a yellow potato. So I'm gonna just go with that. Um, I'm trying to say my favorite potato is um. What am I trying to say? Salad food. <sighs> oh, my favorite way to make potatoes. Look at this puppy. I found that yesterday. Gosh, so my favorite way I'm gonna eat all of these, and I've shown you guys actually, is um, like I said, another onion. I hear these puppies come from Washington, perhaps. Oh my gosh, I collect so much like trail mix from the food banks here in Malala, and it just kind of goes anywhere the Lord did not tell it to go. Over there, my favorite way and honestly my go-to way to make potatoes, um, is to put them in the air fryer. Uh, I just I've already have a video. I'll leave it down below, but yeah, I just love to do them that way because I'm hungry. So I think honestly, what I'm gonna pull out here for the most of it is just a plethora of these yellow potatoes. So. Yellow potatoes. Yeah. These are all going in the air fryer. There's actually a can behind you guys, behind the camera, that I wanted to show. Honestly, I believe God just totally forced me and made me get this. Because you can't live your life without um, magnesium. And black beans have that. So, I do believe Mama Natural recently said mung beans. So, um, I'm saying that so you guys can venture out to go get that video. Um, so, the second option might be I might put it down below. And when I say I might, there's just kind of a weight juxtaposition, of, which I probably won't. But, good luck. Black beans. One can of them. I I honestly hesitated to grab it at first because I was like, don't you already have some? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I just, I honestly, to be quite honest, I don't really know how to use them. It's kind of like, oh, this was, this was my favorite one to grab. Just like out of the blue because look how covered that is and it doesn't look like the devil such shit at all. So <laughs> there's that. It's still got, it's some um, tissue over it, you know? It's like it's gonna get married or something. About to freak marriage stuff. <laughs> well, it's a bad idea. This looks really pretty. That was definitely a yellow potato. Look how soft and like shiny it is. Thank you to the lady working alongside her bad batteries. Basically. I don't know what that's about, but 
Can't really say that. It's called some steamed all over it. It's different. I think potatoes are good if you feel like you don't know what to eat. But you know that you're super duper starving and that's all that's there. And like red onions. Ooh, all my potatoes cooked and red onions. Like, sounds delicious. Tummy. Here's another big papa. This is probably the biggest one that I got. And you know what's funny? Is they always call them red onions, but I never understood why they called them red onions. I always was just like, they, they just don't, it just seems like they just don't need to like call them red onions. Like, you know what I mean? Look how huge that is. See, that was closer to the camera than ever. And it's still huge. Like, look at it. This is my favorite one, pretty much. This is the huger one. And this is probably, oh my gosh. Mama Mai, I feel like me and you would love to go on, like, some sort of shopping spree. Like, you go around Oregon and we just get stuff and shop for stuff. That would be so fun. Mama Mai. Don't let, don't let your children also, Mama Mai, convince you to go to hell. We don't live in a society that you can't just, like, go watch Dawsonville, um, Dawsonville, Georgia. That's, like, the north east side of Georgia. And they have, like, a revival going on, and it's, like, all baptismal. And I'm just speaking that in the highest because I feel like people need to know, like, Mama Mai, like, excuse me, you know, in the same state where your husband, your Papa Mai's execution. And honestly, a backstory, um, I'm just going to say it because I feel like people need it. And I finally found this Yahoo um, <laughs> at the end of the bag, right? Well, here's another big one. Look at that. It's probably like up close to that. Like my breasts is looks like I could fit in my breasts is. <laughs> yep, it's an adversary, all right. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say something, but it went. It'll probably be a story time if I don't finish it right. But um, yeah, it's just it's just like Kim Von's are just just crazy. I actually have my playlist open for you guys. So, excuse me if I'm saying the wrong thing. So, come on. I don't have a jar, but here's some more potatoes. Yummy, yummy yellow potatoes. They will be tossed together with some proper oil. Maybe butter instead of oil or butter and oil. And seasonings. I just got these amazing um, seasonings like months ago up at um, uh, Halverson's. Where's those? Ooh, yummy, yummy. Just filling up the side of my bed. Maybe I'll probably put some stuff on it. <laughs> Honestly, that's all the AC. I mean, want to know what's really in my tote. There's that, and I've been looking for it since last night. And it didn't dawn on me that um, it's way down deep. I mean, I believe it did. The Holy Spirit was like, you know, it's just like a lot of you playing around with. I'm like, well, usually any Don be Don me. D O N, there. What's her name? At least it's an A. <laughs> That's what's in my tote. Damn it. It's also got like raisins and random stuff in here. Yeah, I swear I have more black beans in my cupboard. I just don't like fuel, so. 
We good. Mm, Satan, can you back me in? I'm blue. What are you doing? I did not invite him in. Okay, I hope he's not showing up in this video. Yes, you will. What is that? That it almost honestly just looks like russet, but I'll probably just not like shave anything off because it's gonna dye me. So there's two more potatoes, and honestly, I feel like it's so messy at the bottom of this. Y'all just gonna be what? There's like raisins, wet raisins, um, like watermelon rinds, and um, uh, red onion, like tissue and that's not even the skin it's like red onion tissue on it's like bloody I'm surprised they don't like take like the t like the red onion tissue which is just like this like this like covering basically um i'm surprised they don't take that and like mush it and find a way to like mush it all together and then turn that into like tissue for like Parties and gifts and like mom and my occasions and stuff. You know, Jeannie Rice is gonna have to learn that she just can't, she can't beat out her mom. She's just gonna have to come to that Kim Kardashian understanding that she can't do that. There's one, and then this one that fell on this bum bum. And no, mom and my is not my mother. Probably my Aunt Judy because she's more outgoing than my mom. So there's that. There's all all that I got. All that I have in my tote. And to be quite honest with you, I'm probably doing it like it's a haul. But that's what we got going on, folks. Right there. My favorite is the red onion. Because I have been telling myself that I need to get some of this red Again, another potato down. And yes, I did post that video recently. So, I'm going to get you in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I love how the food's like way more in front of the camera than me. <laughs> and I'm not saying that out of irritation. I'm saying that because it's true. So, we'll probably go. I know it's been long, but personally, I like to see, like, a close-up of, and that's been something, like, forever unused, but I actually forgot to show this. I also got these art, whole artichoke hearts, and I believe on this channel I have suggested to you guys to try uh, Napoleon's um, Hearts of Palm, because they literally are, like, if you... Are trying to come off of liking um what's it called vienna sausage these are really good like try to get kind of stuff because vienna sausage is just not good for you i guess <laughs> if, you, if you feel like you're getting too much weight like some people say about me then i guess we could go with it there's that I got these, and I have suggested to try, um, I guess I've suggested to try Hearts of Palm. Um, it's really what they are is they're just a stock. So they're just literally like Vienna sausage, like sticks, but they're, they're bigger. They're much taller and a little, a little bit thicker maybe, but they're much more taller and like, I guess dense and they just feel good and they still kind of have that like soury thin and vinegar kind of like sort of soury but mushy feel so it's kind of the same texture if you like vienna sausage if you don't don't be grossed out i guess but um that's what we got going on i don't know if you feel like i left something out let me know i don't really care i don't really know <laughs> so there's it i'm just starving i want to eat these and you know what's funny? 
It's, I don't know if you can see on the package. Oh, there you go. It says Lalo on it for some reason. I don't know. It's probably because I've been trying to talk to my Tia Martha about getting up here. La Lo. I don't know. I don't even know if my Tia Martha was supposed to be in this family. Am I the only one that thinks that? Let me know in the comments. I hope you love my pictures. And y'all could take this and, and try to make the money. And then when you make the money out of this, you can let me know. <laughs> and let me know in the comments how I'm supposed to respond to these business emails. Because I don't know. I feel too into this, you know. I feel too um here about it. So...